What's up, guys? It is Sunday, January 29th, 12.25 p.m., and we're going to do a three for 30, three deep dives, 30 minutes, 10 minutes each. What we're going to cover is Wads Pay, Dent, V-A-I-O-T, and Aptos as a little bonus. This one's for Christian, Zach. I know you guys wanted me to cover this, so I'm going to do this in this video. Let's put the timer up, 10 minutes for Wads Pay. So I'm going to dive into the website and take a look at it. Baseline. Okay, so today's the day. Public sale is open. Looks like a gaming kind of thing here. Our mission, Wads Pay is an interoperable blockchain-based payments ecosystem company founded in 2018 in Singapore. Currently operates Southeast Asia, South Asia, uh, Middle East, Africa. Wads Pay saw the potential for CBDC and digital assets to lead the next revolution in the payments industry, enabling faster payments, improved security, and cost efficiency with optionality. Wads Pay is working with large international payment companies. All right, now my, my ears are perking up. Banks and global companies to enable digital asset-based transaction processing and settlement. Okay. All right. So I like the, the market they're headed after, but I mean, we have kind of some other coins, XLM, XRP, and other ones that have been doing it for a long time now and have already kind of built out built out their their network. So we'll see kind of where Wads Pay lies with that. Because if we're talking about long-term kind of staying power, I would put more weight behind a seller than Wads Pay if we're just looking that at that alone. So that's why we got to dig a little deeper here. So let's go. Merchants, retailers, and e-commerce, banks, financial institutions, and processors, Governments, okay, government can benefit. Let's see, yeah, okay, let's go down. Products and solutions, acceptance. Let's learn more about this. So Wadspay Solutions enables merchants receive payments in digital assets using their existing acceptance channels, point of sale terminals, which is important. In e-commerce payment portals, Wadspay Acceptance Solutions provides consumers an option to make payments to merchants using their digital asset wallet, scanning a QR code. QR codes are going to be big. Merchants get settled in digital currency or fiat currency of their choice based off local regulations, business benefits, offline to offline commerce. That's interesting. I've never heard of that. Let's go down features, peer-to-peer, -peer, ready plugins, fund settlement, preferred currency. Let's go down. Let's take a look at the app. Looks pretty clean. That looks clean. Let's go to executive leadership. We're leading the next revolution to asset-based payments by enabling efficient, secure transactions. I mean, okay, pretty big team, but to be honest, I'm not a fan of the website. The website, it's, it doesn't have that smooth feel to it. Like you go to something like even Apple's website or something like that, you know, like that they're giving you that, that white glove service when you come to here, it just looks so like clean and the design's nice, the UX UI. Whereas if I go back to this website, I mean, that's like a stock image. That's like what you would see kind of on, you know, I, kind of uh, what's it called like an amateur like versus amateur versus the pros in a sense let's say let's go to products and solutions nft cbdc let's see with the shrinking of cash yet yeah, we we know this but i don't see like do they have a solution for this so it's more of like they're just saying cbdc and the solution but the, where's their product so it's a little confusing. So I don't like how this is set up. And if I'm being totally honest, go to remittance, maybe we'll see something there. Okay, so then we actually see a product here, but we didn't see anything for CBDC. Maybe it's just because they don't have it, but let's dig deeper. I don't wanna, okay, projects. Okay, Pago Capital, Viga, Blockchain Association, Singapore. Okay, now we're talking, we're seeing some partnerships, BitGo, Live, WooCommerce. Under an NDA, airport retail digital currency acceptance project in the Middle East, Algorand. Okay. Let's go to insights. Let's look at the press room. Okay. Okay. Nothing that really strikes me uh, in a big way here. Yeah. Not, nothing much. Let's see. Let's go back to coin market cap. Take a look at it there. Let's go to an all chart. I mean, like, Definitely can it can it pump up to 10 cents based off of just technicals and speculation, I would say. But um fundamentally, 
I don't see the use. 2,841, the market cap is tiny, 2 million, only 650,000 flowing through it. If we go down to here, we can see a little more about what they do. And it doesn't, okay, so WadsPay is a blockchain-based payments platform for digital currency. WadsPay, anyone buy anything in any digital currency. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sold on this one because I feel as if like the technology that they're providing, the product, the solution has already been done by people in Web3 currently. But even on top of it, what would stop like, a, let's say, Apple from releasing like a solution like this? Or what would stop um, like PayPal or MasterCard? I don't believe there may be proprietary software or an algorithm or just like a way of doing things that another company couldn't replicate. So we're talking about staying power in the long term. I don't see it. Could it pump up and could you make 10x? Definitely. But that's going to be way more risky than just getting into a safe product You can almost, or a crypto. You can almost guarantee that maybe you have to wait a little longer to get a 10x, but you're not sitting there wondering it's just going to go to zero when something has something like an XRP, XLM or Hedera has the traction behind it. We've seen the partner. We've seen what they're doing, way more staying power. So less risk on that end. I, I will keep looking, though, as far as if there's anything I'm missing, the amount of exchanges you can trade it on very low Bitru, Bitmart. Eh, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I'm, I honestly can't come out here being like, yeah, it could, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I personally wouldn't buy it myself. So I'm not going to say that anybody, it would be a smart idea to, but maybe I'm missing something from missing something, then send a comment about what I'm missing, what I should look into. But personally me, I'm not throwing money into this one. Let's go to Dent now. Dent, we got bigger market cap around hundred million. Let's look at the markets. Binance, KuCoin, Kraken. Okay, so we it's on Femex too. Interesting. So, Bitru. All right, we got more markets for this one. Higher market cap. Now, a lot of people watching it too. So, those are some good signs. It, it's been around since 2017. We saw it pump back then. But then we went down our brutal bear market and then we saw our bull market in 2021. We didn't reach all-time highs or even close to it. Granted, some other coins didn't as well too that I believe are blue chips. But uh, this is way like very far off. If I were to go and pull this kind of in, we are pulling up though. I mean, it's at 0 0.001, let's say. To get to a 10x, 0 0.001 right down here. But point get to a 10x, you got to get like right back up to here. To me, way more risk than what I'm willing to take personally. Yeah. So, oh wait, maybe I'm missing something. So 0 0.001 and then to get the 0 0.01, yeah, it'd be right here. So yeah, that, hmm, let's look into it a little bit more. So launched in 2017, Dent is a revolutionary digital mobile operator offering eSIM cards, mobile data plans, call minutes, top-ups, and roaming fee free experience. According to the company website, Dent employs blockchain technology powers to create a global marketplace for mobile data liberalization. Dent has an ambitious roadmap ahead with plans to expand its services to new markets by the end of 2021. The company has already tracked more than 25 million mobile device users and Dent services are available in more than 140 countries. Enterprise partnerships for Dent include Samsung Blockchain, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, and Telecom Infra. So this guy's the CEO of Dent Wireless. He acquired a master's degree diploma in sciences from that university. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's go down. What makes Dent unique? It's a revolutionary player in the market of mobile communications data services. Today, around half the world's population has restricted access to mobile services because of the high price traditional mobile carriers offer. Dent brings in the power of blockchain to revolutionize this, provide global access to mobile airtime and data. Dent eliminates understanding your mobile data side of your location by becoming a global digital mobile operator. They offer plans that suit today's global citizens by removing roaming fees and introducing, introducing international mobile plans. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's head over on the website. So I don't really like that they had this. I feel like for a company that is trying to do a big ambitious thing, having a swag store with some clothes on there, it reminds me of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like that. That Let's go to company. Let's go to partnerships. I like the partnerships though. So let's look at the roadmap, see if they've hit any of their things. I mean, okay, now we're looking at this and it's like, I get it. It's, I mean, it's eh, if you're you know on it, it's January 29th. It's been 29 days since 2023 started. So this still says roadmap 2021 to 2022. So I feel as if they're, you know, they're not as active. I mean, you can have all these ambitions and you can have this whole roadmap with all this great stuff on it, but the execution is the hardest part. And even just missing that, like not being on top of that roadmap, that kind of, that's a strike for me, I would say may seem tough, but it's those little things that matter. Cause like, it's the little things that will have a bad security bug in the blockchain protocol and then bam, it's hacked. So I don't know. For me, that rubs me the wrong way. Let's go to the team. Okay. South Korea, taking care of strategic partnerships and mobile operators. Okay. Borman Telco DNA. Also, we're going to tell eSIM, IoT expert, Cambridge graduate, founding partner. Okay. Yeah. To, hmm. Like, I like the idea. Definitely do. I like what they're aiming for. I just don't know if. I'm not confident that this team can take it home. I mean, I, I'm judging off of just like the website and everything like that, but other things, but I just feel as if like, yes, the product that they're building, the solution, is it needed immensely? Maybe not. I mean, I feel as if that the like telecom operators have done better with kind of going down and charging less. And then you got T-Mobile stepping up. They got the 5G. They're, you know, they're fairly reasonable on the price. I mean, if anything, why? what would stop T-Mobile for, from launching something like this or Samsung themselves or Verizon or whatever it may be? Is there any proprietary kind of systems, processes, software? I didn't see that. So I didn't see that. And it's a team of over 30 people involved in the project. I don't know if you started in 2017 or 2018, I would feel by that. I mean, it's been five years at the rate of some of these other companies that have grown being only at that much 30. It seems like it's not growing too fast here, or it's like a side project. Let's go to the app features. Dent exchange for, okay. Prepaid top ups is over. Dent wireless will now be all in one on eSIM and data trading in 60 countries. Owners of prepaid top-ups or voice minutes on the DEN exchange have had top-ups converted into DEN eSIM data. Okay, but then there's a, there's another coin that I feel like does this, like, what was it called? It starts with a T. I'm gonna look on CoinMarketCap. Oh, Telecoin or Telcoin, yep. And I would say I like this chart better. We, we were, it launched in 2018 right after the bull market top rounded out new all-time high and now we're rounding out again i like this chart better if we look at the markets we can see kucoin bitru eh, not as good on the markets compared to dent if we click on their website and kind of see what they're all about but store money smarter send money smarter trade money smarter telcoin creates low-cost high-quality financial products for every mobile phone user in the world tell Telcoin remittances, I guess they maybe don't do the wireless. Hmm. Let's go back. Is blockchain replacing the SIM card? Okay, let's see. Huh, okay. Well, the use case is there, but I do believe that I thought I heard that T-Mobile is getting rid of physical SIM cards and are now going into eSIMs pretty soon here. So it does look like the narrow, the window is narrowing on that opportunity. Maybe there's undercover partnerships that we didn't see. Maybe we can take a look at that. Let's go to their socials. Check that out. Twitter 127. So a good social following. 
let's go to let's search dent so i dove into dent's partnership with the basic internet foundation and it made me even more bullish let's see First, for context, you might throw it on Dent why I'm bullish as ever. So let's Dent Wireless, creator of Dent Coin, will be a major player in the crypto industry. I've been following the project for a while. I wanted to create a thread explaining why Dent, what Dent is and why I'm so bullish. Found in June 2017 to liberate the global mobile data market with eSIM technology. Before eSIM, mobile data was only available through corporations locking people in the fixed monthly contracts. This meant people had no control over the data. If they used too much, they paid fees. If they had a surplus, they couldn't sell it. Made data contracts very expensive, priced out of millions of people, especially in least developed countries. Par short time, then is partnered with 140 countries. Hundreds of telcos were allowed to establish an open data marketplace that allows users to buy, sell, or donate unlimited amounts of mobile data whenever they wish. New mobile data infrastructure couldn't using blockchain that enables devices to connect to the internet without a traditional contract or SIM card, just the Dent app and some coins. So I know if you didn't know, eSIM in the future of telco is the future of telco technology apple and samsung are moving to eSIM and even featured dent on both their websites ah okay now we're talking huh samsung right on there okay sold all right i would take a little stab at it so dent currently has 25 million registered users they've secured official partnerships with the basic internet foundation samsung blockchain ethereum enterprise alliance among others the team is also super strong, including Miko, the founder of Dove, Dovecat, and former United Nations telco slash coding advisor. Okay, okay. Reason I'm most bullish, Dent operationalizes key initiatives for the UN Sustainable Development Goals of 2030. I like his language. Agenda, which basically serves as a guide for where the wealthiest action groups and brands will invest their money to make a better world. 100%. That it's just the place to watch, you know, ride the coattails. Straight from the UN's goals, significantly increase access to information, communications, technology, and strive to provide universal and affordable access to the internet in the least developed countries. Yeah, I, that does make sense. Kind of because with giving the underbanked access to financial services, doing that financial inclusion, but instead of the underbanked, we're thinking about it in a sense of the under, under served communities of information and telecommunications like it's just providing them with easier access to telecommunications democratizing that and so on so now let's go into the next one so i'd take a stab at dent i wouldn't go a ton in but i would you know have a little exposure to it especially at that kind of price and especially if i go to the three month chart you can see that we kind of bottomed out here we saw a lot of volume come in breaking out of this downtrend and now we're in an uptrend so you could take a stab at it for sure not financial advice but i wouldn't be back in the truck on it that's for sure let's go into the next one which is VAIOT, which I'm very interested in because I do think we're going to see, because we're seeing a lot of talk about AI, and I believe that we're going to see a mix of AI and a crypto. And I think that's going to be one of the narratives that send the AI crypto segment side of the market on a pretty nice run. And I think they'll outperform during a time. So let's dive into this. So intelligent ser hmm, I like what I see right there. So intelligent services powered by the first VFAA regulated digital asset, VAIoT offers a portfolio of blockchain-based AI assistance and on-chain intelligent contracts for businesses and consumers to provide automated services and transactions faster, easier, affordable. So get F VFAA regulated token, CR Tech. I like it. They were featured in um, big magazines here. Explainer video. See, I like this website setup. Good flow, good understanding, good user design experience. Powered by IBM Watson. VAIOT's AI solutions leverage the most recent advances in machine learning by utilizing IBM Watson components. Due to Watson's flexibility and openness, VAIOT can use it in almost every aspect of our project, from contract generation to the development of intelligent dis distribution channels. So this is a joint proof of concept project explained. We're going to dive into that, but first, let's dive into that first video. Today, advancements in technology make all kinds of services more accessible, faster, and a whole lot cheaper. With Viat, interactions between individual customers and businesses get even easier, thanks to intelligent contracts. 
by using advanced artificial intelligence and blockchain, Viat creates a new quality in accessing services and concluding agreements between people anywhere in the world. Viat is like your personal assistant providing legal services such as intelligently creating custom contracts tailored to your needs. These are both printable, traditional written contracts, as well as digital, securely stored on the blockchain. With Viat, creating a contract is as easy as talking. Hi Viat, I need a contract for my new employee. Hello Jim, sure. I'll just need a few details. Shall we proceed? But that's not all. Viat- That's next level. That is game changer. Also introduces brand new intelligence service distribution channels that empower businesses to adapt to modern customers by offering new ways of accessing services. In this way, enterprises, customers both benefit. It's a win-win situation. Oh, and did we mention that everything Viat does for you is made secure by blockchain technology? Viat, intelligent services, just say the word. All right, that's next level. AI legal assistant, that is sick. AI crypto protection broker and aggregator, AI merchant, a sales assistant. V Viat's first production ready use case of intelligent contracts just around the corner, an automated transparent tool for incentivized social media campaigns supported by blockchain contracts is getting ready for its production launch early next year. One of the first use cases of intelligent contract is just the first step to equipping various business and consumer processes with secure and transparent blockchain based contracts. The solution will be available pretty soon here. Regulated, audited and transparent. Regulated as a virtual finance financial asset. Under Maltese law, according to the Vir Virtual Financial Assets Act, our company, the project, and the token offering itself were audited several times, verified, and approved by Grant Thornton and the Malta Financial Services Authority. We purposely chose a regulated environment to provide our investors with the necessary security, real AI use, AI use cases right there, the solution developed with tech giants, IBM. The AI assistant, next level, token utility. So we have designed the token economy to enable the token's natural flow within Viat Solutions, which is visible in the payback program. We also aim to mitigate the risks associated with the price volatility with Viat's value assurance system. With Viat's token economy, the end user doesn't need to know anything about the underlying technology or tokens that benefit from it while still positively influencing the network, strong team, and partners interdisciplinary team of individuals holding professional backgrounds in blockchain, AI, software development, cryptography. Feel free to meet us, each of us on LinkedIn. Cosmos is involved as well too. Let's watch this now. I'm doing well. Hi, Zaha. Hi, Zaha. I'm fine. Bro. Thank you. That's good. Uh, Pablo, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for your willingness to, and your time to being here and our cooperation. Uh, I would like to ask you about our mutual success, Viot project. At the beginning, could you please tell us uh, what your company is doing? Yes, so first of all, thank you very much for the invitation, and I'll be happy to, to share some information about the company and about the project. So Viot is a technological company combining two major technological trends, so artificial intelligence and blockchain. And what we do is we are developing an IVA, so Intelligent Virtual Assistant. And the main difference between Viot and personal, other personal assistants that you may find on the market, for example, Siri or Alexa, is that Viot is strictly business oriented. So it was created specifically to digitize business processes. And first of all, and this is what we are doing right now, we are developing a new digital intelligent communication channel for our for our clients to for them to offer to to their customers and second of all and this is our future ultimate goal is to develop a virtual ai legal assistant to provide legal services such as digital blockchain based contracts but traditional contracts as well based on an extensive legal database Excellent. Um, could you please share with us much more information, much deeper information about Viot project? Yes. So uh, I'll, I'll stick to the present situation, the present moment. So the AI assistant that we are building right now is dedicated to multiple clients in different economic industries. Whenever you have a business process that can be digitized, whenever you are selling your products or services 
on their digital channels or whenever you, you are serving your clients digitally, you can have, using virus technology, you can have your own AI assistant. You can deliver it to your customers via, for example, mobile application. And I'm not talking here about a simple chatbot. I'm talking here about a, an AI assistant using speech recognition that can have an actual conversation with your customer that can, that, that will gather the input, that will gather the customer requirements and can even uh, prepare an offer dedicated, personalized, highly personalized offer for your customer consisting of your products and or services. So this, we are talking here about an um, intelligent sales channel and uh, intelligent service distribution channel. And, uh, and in the end, you also have blockchain here. So every data that, uh, that the assistant gathers or that the customer is providing to the assistant can be recorded uh, in the blockchain, on the blockchain. And therefore, for example, if you are selling an, an insurance policy to your customer, the, 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 the terms and conditions of such insurance policy can be recorded on the blockchain, then therefore making sure that there is the data is undeniable and there is no manipulation of data. And uh, in regards to technology, Viot obviously is using a lot of its own technological components, but as a basis, a foundation for our assistant, we are using IBM Watson, right? So what we did is we did a joint proof of concept project with with you, with our partner IBM in technologies and services, and uh, and and we combined our development teams. So we had IBM Watson experts from your side. We had uh, our own developers, blockchain experts. We had our analysts working together uh, to evaluate actually whether Watson is a suitable solution for us to build uh, an AI assistant. And this allowed our development team to go further into the development alone and to build a minimum viable product that we want to offer to the market right now. And obviously we are using IBM Watson now. It'd be nice to hear. And uh, I have a question to Maciej. Uh, Maciej, uh, I know you were uh, engaged in a proof of concept with uh, our business partner with uh, company. And then uh, I have a question. I, would you like to I totally forgot. Would you, like to prove, uh, would you like to test? We got the clock running. So let me dive into Aptos and we're going to end it off. But I will say, if I were to choose out of all three of these, I'm going with Viot. I would say order of, you know, what would I go with first to last? Be Viot, then Dent, then Wads Pay. That's what I'm thinking. If you guys think something different, let me know. Maybe I missed something. And actually, I'm going to skip Aptos because I'm going to save that alongside with Gala, alongside with the Stellar Deep Dive, alongside with all the other ones I'm going to do as well, too. So I will end it here. That's my ranking of order. I would say for all three, let's just say I, I would, if I didn't have my dream XRP holdings or XLM holdings or HBAR holdings or Quant holding, then I'd be putting it in those first. But if I already had those holdings and I was, you know, feeling good about them, then maybe I'd sprinkle a little cash around to one of those, you know, first one via, then second one dent, and then maybe Wads Pay. I'd sprinkle a little bit. And just in case they do pull a 10x or something like that, because then I can convert that back into the coin that I ultimately want to hold. And then you'd have more of that coin. But first off, get get your um, blue chips first. Make sure you're happy about those. Or if you are you need to kind of trade with your blue chips, go pair to pair with them to accumulate more to get to your dream holdings, then I would be more on the safer side of going pair to pair with the blue chips that you ultimately are looking to hold rather than trying to make a, a quick come up off of maybe something you're not looking to hold for the long term. So that's what I'm thinking. Let me know if I miss anything. That's my opinion. Let me know yours in the, in the comments below. So I'll see you guys in the next deep dive.